I have played for many different clubs. My first professional club was Malmö in Sweden. I will always be incredibly grateful to Sweden and to Malmö. They gave me my first opportunity. For this I'll always be grateful. But Malmö are grateful that I was even born. I gave them Zlatan. After Malmö, where did I go? Let me see. I went to Ajax. Ajax of Amsterdam. Great team, great history, great club, great stadium. But the Dutch league is too small for Zlatan. You cannot uh, keep the lion in a cage like this. He needs to be free in the jungle. After Ajax, where did I go? Let me see. I went to uh, Juventus. At Juventus, I enjoyed my time in Italy. I went there and uh, played with many big players, many uh, big teams. I, I believe I was showing myself on a, on a large stage. Zlatan had introduced himself to the Serie A and uh, I enjoyed many great things. But the problem with Juventus, Zlatan is far, far too colorful a character to only wear black and white. After Juventus, where did I go? Let me see. Oh yeah, I went to Inter Milan. So I stayed in Italy and I won many, many things with Inter Milan. I had a great team, I got great teammates and uh, I enjoyed my time at Inter Milan. But what can I say? I went on to play for two different managers, Roberto Mazzini and also Jose Mourinho. But let's not forget who was the real special one at Inter Milan. After Inter Milan, where did I go? Let me see. Ah, yes, I went to Barcelona. So I tried my hand in uh, La Liga. Barcelona was always a, a dream for me, but uh, I think the thing with dreams, sometimes they should remain a dream. Um, the problem with Barcelona was they bought themselves a Ferrari, but they drove it like a Fiat. So Barcelona could not manage the machine that is Latin. After Barcelona, where did I go? I went to AC Milan, first time. I enjoyed my time with AC Milan. I enjoyed my time sleeping with the enemy. I had many great successes at AC Milan and I, I felt in the end I was like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because I said to myself, I haven't finished business. I'll be back. After AC Milan, where did I go? I went to Paris Saint-Germain. When I was in Paris the first day, this stupid reporter came up to me and he said, Zlatan, you're in the most romantic city in the world. It's Valentine's Day coming up soon. What does Zlatan buy for his wife? I looked at him because I was expecting a football question. I was saying, where am I? What am I doing here? But I said to that man, I will buy my wife nothing for Valentine's Day. The wife that has everything. She has Zlatan. And the day that I left Paris Saint-Germain, the same stupid reporter came up to me and he said, Zlatan, is there anything we can do to keep you to stay? He was begging me to stay. I said, okay. If they rename the Eiffel Tower, the Zlatan Tower, I will stay. This I promise you for sure. So after Paris Saint-Germain, where did I go? Let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I went to Manchester United. So at Manchester United, you know, people say to me, was it always a dream, Zlatan, to come to the Premier League? And I say, yes, it was always a dream for sure. But that dream belonged to the Premier League. They always wanted Zlatan. In the Premier League, I was asked, uh, who's the greatest striker in the Premier League? I said, mm, that's a tough one. Let me think about it. And I was thinking about uh, Lukaku, very, very strong, great striker, Sergio Aguero. The reporter raised his eyebrow and he said, Zlatan, I'm very surprised you did not say yourself. I said, lions cannot compare themselves to humans. King Eric, he said, I could be the new king of Old Trafford. No, no, no. There's only ever one king of Old Trafford, and that is King Cantona. But I will be the god of Old Trafford. So after Manchester United, where did I go? Let me see. Ah, yes, I went to a galaxy far, far away because Latin is not from this planet. I went to Los Angeles Galaxy. My wife, she always wanted to live in uh, Los Angeles. And I said to her, okay, I give you this present. I give you this gift. We will, we will go to Los Angeles. I will play with LA. There's a, this kind of a uh, tradition in the, the Galaxy players. When a new signing comes, he takes out this, uh, like a, a, an advertisement in the LA Times. He writes a letter about oh, how it was always his dream to play for LA Galaxy and how much he promises the fans and what they will win together. I didn't, uh, I, I, I played the game, but I uh, did it this Latin way. I paid for two pages in the LA Times and I, I wrote, Dear Los Angeles, you're welcome. I gave them Zlatan, what more can I say? 
So when I was in Los Angeles, I rented a beautiful house and I went to Ikea and I got the furniture. My real estate guy, he said to me, Zlatan, Zlatan, please. Rich people don't buy the furniture in Ikea. I say, maybe not, but smart people do. So when I leave Los Angeles, I say to them, okay, Zlatan needs to go back to his own planet now. He needs to go back to planet Zlatan. You can go back to watching baseball. So after Los Angeles, what did I do? I went back to AC Milan. When I come back to AC Milan, I have many great times. I had unfinished business, as I say. I am not leaving AC Milan without the Serie A title. This is my promise. This is my promise to my followers, to my supporters, to my worshippers. People ask, Zlatan, how long will you play? I'm like Benjamin Button. I get stronger with age, I get better with age. I have no intention of retiring. But I sometimes say, I will retire when I find someone who can play football better than Zlatan. But then they ask again, they say, no, 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 Zlatan, please, please, how long will you play? And I say, okay, okay, the truth is only God really knows. And they say, but it's difficult to ask him, no? And I say, you're talking to him.